thing was working really good for about three weeks uh, until I accidentally shorted the leads. Um, happened really fast. They just kind of merged together without realizing what was going on. And uh, once I started smelling smoke and the voltages were not as high as they should have been, um, I had to obviously take this thing apart and look for some damage. Only thing I can see right now for damage is a little diode underneath this capacitor. It completely split and it looks like it shot out some solder, but I'm not sure if there's solder inside there. That little dot in the center there is like solder splattered or something. But anyways, uh, it's all over the board too, so I got to clean the board up and see if I can replace that diode. Um, so as of right now, all I have is my knockoff. <laughs> Uh, B6, uh, you can see it's a knockoff because it has misspelled start, but it's working great so far. Hopefully it doesn't burn my house down. And uh, you can see the, the attachments over here are just not quite straight on this guy. But so far so good. I've, I've been running it for a couple weeks now and it doesn't get warm or hot or anything. So um, I just got to keep an eye on it and be around it when it's on. So... Other than that, I will keep you guys updated on this issue, and uh, whether or not I fix it or not, we'll see. I'll let you know. All right, see you soon. As you can see I got my power supply working again. It was that one diode that I showed you. Um, for some reason, this thing is supposed to have short circuit protection, and it doesn't. So just to let you know, if you short those together, that will fry one of these. And it's a FR207 diode and I uh, just replace it and it's good to go so moving on from that I've got some batteries here that I'm reconditioning I have question marks on them uh, mainly because I'm not sure if they're any good yeah they get up to voltage but milliamps I'm not sure if they're gonna be worth it but once I'm done charging this guy I'm gonna throw it on my knockoff and see how well it performs on the uh, discharge test and speaking of discharge test this isn't one but I am charging this one up and it was one of the questionable batteries and as you can see it's been on here for almost 40 minutes and milliamps is only 544 pretty low very very low actually and that's between two batteries so that is probably going to be no good um, ended up having to recycle that one so and I've got a whole batch of them in here as well you can see some in there and then some down here as well I've got some nickel metal hydrate that I found in some of the uh, batteries that was sent to me so I'll go through those as well but first the uh, lithium batteries are going to be the ones getting charged up so I go through all those and after unpacking all my batteries that I bought, this is what I have. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. Let's see if I can pull this guy out. It's pretty heavy. That is plumb full of batteries. These are charged to uh, 3.7 and higher. Um, that I got inter interrupted by a phone call. Um, these here are charged to 3.7 and higher, all the way up to about 4. 0.17 I think is the highest um, and then these here I have to go through they can vary from 0.5 up to 3.6 um, so yeah I've got a lot to do and as you can see it's a big box um, so yeah I'll keep you guys updated and uh, now that I got this this guy working I thought I was gonna have to buy another one should be a lot easier to go through these batteries so I uh, also plan on building a bigger charging station for these guys instead of doing, you know, two at a time or four or six at a time. I'm going to have a whole bank of batteries, the good ones anyways, um, on a charging um, bus. So I'll keep you guys updated. All right.